Abilene. Hey, Abilene. Uh, as far as I just had a question for you. Sure. All right, were you at the court case for uh, Tugs? Uh, yeah, I was in the stands. Did uh, have did the, is the case still going or? Uh, no, he um, he won through a technicality of um, what was it? Huh. I was eating lunch in the stands, but he won. Oh my lord! Okay, another wow. All right, that's uh, and then have the case with Mr. K go yesterday. We won what was important. Um, did they get we, found we, we, guilty or not guilty criminal use? Not guilty. Wow. So yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It only you know it only took the judge to say it's that way they understand that you know, you know, being just our positive is not equal criminal use of firearm. You know, you need to actually have a gun. You know, so. Well, uh, well, the thing is too. Uh, Defense lawyers need to be proactive in, you know, mounting their affirmative defenses to this stuff. Because I think uh, if, if I didn't do that, the judge could have easily ruled in their favor. But um, what was the defense? Out. Uh, the defense was he was involved in numerous ac activities that could leave the same type of residue that's detectable by GSR devices. And uh, GSR readout in, it, in and of itself, it was made clear that none of the officers who use it actually know how it functions technically speaking and they just rely on a readout and there's the potential for false positive okay wait what was the activity so, that you guys gave us the, the affirmative defense what was that oh uh fireworks welding heat cutting um and also i've i've heard some stuff about fertilizer and farming being one of those but we, we didn't mention that because I don't, I don't think mr k farms at all Fire